What do we got? Meal one here. I think we should do it kind of like a, what's it called? I can't, muscle and month, muscle and strength. Like where they do like the full day of eating, you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen those? Mm -mm. I was watching a bunch of videos trying to like make them interesting and mm -hmm. figure out how to talk to you guys and make you <laughs> interested. So 125 grams of this. And you do the baby food because it's easy. Yeah, and then let me, you don't have to heat it up. I think this actually. That's a cheat code though. Yeah, that is definitely for sure. It may not be this one because they have code. like, I think they have an oat one. Gerber rice, you don't have to heat it up. Yeah. Same thing as creamy rice. Yeah. And then you have to think like this was made for babies. So that means that it's meant to be easily digested. Mm. So then we're gonna do ran out of chocolate mm -hmm. and of course it's every time that you have to film for some reason i'm out of things of course but regardless so yeah it's still it's vanilla and it's fine it's just not my preferred i prefer the chocolate but regardless code valor code valor <laughs> of course so i gotta do 50 grams of this it comes out to close to like one and a half scoops there i mean i ran out of everything i need to take like my pills this morning and i'm all out of that as well We'll do 30 grams of this. So this is somewhere around like 16 grams of fat. And then I'm gonna put all this away because what's gonna happen is we're gonna come back at the end of the day after training and everything. And you're gonna see this counter that I cleaned off last night. Dirty as hell. Is gonna be covered <laughs> in just all the stuff that I had to do to make my food. So we're gonna put everything away. And while we're doing this, I'm gonna grab the last ingredient, which will be some frozen bananas. And then I need about 80 grams of this, which I think it's, it's like 12, 13 carbs, something like that. And then, I just don't like fruit. We're gonna give his food. Holy crap. Look at that. Dog eats better than me. You hungry, man? <laughs> you see him? He's like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, let's go. I'm gonna kind of take you through the routine. So sometime around now, typically having breakfast. We got training with Cam later today. Not Cam, but Nate. Cam's gonna film it. Got leg day. So I really have to make sure. That'll be another video. Yeah, I'm on top of my schedule. So that way we don't get to the gym late and he's pissed off waiting. We're gonna take, and I'm gonna lay this down. Cam's gonna work. We're gonna put the camera up and he's gonna put it up as a fast clock and see how long it takes me to eat. This is uh, like 120 carbs, 50 grams of protein and 17 grams of fat. So we're gonna snap both fingers. These things fit when I originally bought them. That was three years ago and 40 pounds ago. And now they're tight, huh? Now they look like I'm, I, I don't even know. Gay. Yeah. So right now with the amount of food that I'm eating, I try to go for at least like a five to 10 minute walk after each meal, just to help with digestion. Half the time it doesn't even end up to walking because these two are constantly peeing and pooping everywhere. Or if I can get anywhere between him trying to walk himself on the leash, it definitely helps. And I noticed last push, I'm supposed to be averaging about eight to 10,000 steps a day. I was getting like 4,000. So it was like barely moving. So of course you eat. And it's like, if you've ever eaten a large pizza and then you just lay there on the couch and you unbutton your pants and loosen your belt because you feel like crap, that's how I would feel after every meal. So of course, try and do that five times a day. You just feel awful. So now I'm trying to make sure that I'm being more active, take them for a walk after each meal just so I can move around. <clears throat> and Andrea was listening to me complain yesterday, coincidentally. And I told her, I was like, I'm so close to just telling Callum that I want to just end this push, start the health phase and jump in a prep because I'm tired of force feeding. She's like, what are you waiting for? Of course, she's tired of me doing this as well. But I know that in the big grand scheme of things, that's like the person who tells you, I weigh 300 pounds 
but that 300 pounds was their peak off season weight after they, you know, had a cheat meal, stayed up till 2 a.m. and ate ice cream and then woke up at six. Yeah. And then their real off season weight the whole time was like 292. Right. It's like, no, you didn't hit 300 pounds. So for me, I'm sitting around 237. And to make sure that when I step on stage next time, I need to let that muscle marinate, which means I need to get here and stay at this weight for at least the next eight weeks. So unfortunately, today's a high day. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I deal with. And just for all of you who don't follow the YouTube religiously and didn't see the puppy, this is Louie. He is seven months old and 108 pounds as of last week, <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to get hit though. So we're gonna get out the street. Jackson, come. Yo, relax. texting me and telling him like I can't train today. And it was like the same thing last push where like I just needed to change the sources yeah. just because I had been eating for so long like my body was like just like you know also when you're not like you don't look appetized by the plate either it's so hard to eat because yeah. you're like ah oh, man like this isn't even going to taste good you mm -hmm. know like if you actually are hungry that plays a... I feel like it plays a role in the digesting it too. Yeah, 100%, because then, you know, your pancreas is gonna produce insulin and leptin and ghrelin are gonna signal. So, it's just 300 grams of shrimp raw, and then I cook it. So, that will allow the protein to stay consistent, and it will allow it to, um, like, Andrea likes to put her stuff in the air fryer obviously and then what happens is she puts it in the air fryer cooks it for 40 minutes and sucks all of the weight out of it and then you end up eating like what should be eight ounces of meat and like she has like ounces. three ounces mm -hmm. so this allows it to stay consistent so whether i put it on there put it in the air fryer broil it or whatever it's still this exact same amount of food now the the volume may change, which for me right now, the, the bigger thing is like trying to take the volume out of the food because um, I just like, it's, it's just a lot of food. Today's 5,400 calories of food and we're only in meal Dude, two. What? And you can see I'm hurting. So I'm also like, something's going on with my digestion right now, which is definitely not helping either. Um, so this is this is like what it actually looks like. This is a real day of eating. I know everyone makes it look like, oh, it's so nice or it's so easy and all this shit. This is the worst part. I can train all day. It's this shit. I'm, I'm done with the repetitiveness of constantly eating when I'm not hungry, constantly forcing food down. But this is actually what it takes. This is what it looks like. For those of us who don't naturally just look at food and gain weight so um this is this is the ugly truth this is what it looks like i guess um and i wish that someone would have told me that when i got into bodybuilding because we all see the like ronnie coleman sitting there with like you know a plate of chicken and barbecue sauce you're not, Ronnie Coleman. And yeah. <laughs> You're not Ronnie Coleman. None of us are Ronnie Coleman. There's a reason there's only one Ronnie Coleman. There's a reason that he's considered the greatest of all time. So, um, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know if it would have changed my decision on things, but it definitely would have given me a bigger picture into what I'm getting my life or getting myself into with my life. 
I mean, you were the last time that, you know, when you came to see my first day, full day of eating last time, remember you were like, dude, I think something's wrong with me. Oh. I, think I need to get my blood work done or something. <laughs> you were like, there's a difference between a being hungry, hungry right. and starving. Right, right, okay. Right. And for me, I don't need to be like full after a meal. I would like to be satiated. I would like to be comfortable and then move on and do my task. And typically, even when I'm deeper in prep, when I am really hungry, I'm like running around trying to just waste time until that next meal comes around. So if you can just think of it that way, it works a lot better. This to me is like, I don't want to say I hate this shit, but this is the harder part for me. Because I guarantee you if I say I hate this and Andrea sees it, she's like, why are you still doing this? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to put this down. This is 150 grams of pineapple, 250 grams of rice, and then 300 grams of raw weight shrimp. This is technically supposed to be 300 grams of rice. I can't eat that much before the gym. I noticed for me, the sweet spot is somewhere between 60 to 100 carbs. Mm -hmm anything after that and i know that some people are like oh you need to have a really big meal it just takes way too long to digest and then i run behind on meals and i'm waiting like two hours to try and, and actually do things why don't so, we take a gda yeah no i i ran out of revive stuff i literally as we were on talking here shop notifications and that's from revive and raw shipping my order that was supposed to be out mm. the first and last so they're slammed with the holidays and stuff like that. So mm. can't complain, but yeah. Let's put this down. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna take them for another walk, walk number two. I don't think Cam will film that one. Probably gonna take them to the dog park and let them run around and be crazy. Mom should be home at 1230. We'll do a quick little kit, uh, clip and show you guys the new whip and then off to go train legs. I'll probably have to show you guys the 100 grams of intracarbs I'm gonna drink. <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. There's a lot to digest. I'm not gonna throw it all in this video right now. I'll kind of eat the meal and then we'll do a talking point. But yeah, so food's lowered. It, 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 you're gonna think this is lowered, but it's it's really not. Um, <coughs> I only have three meals with carbs though, and this is uh, the third meal. My first meal was pretty much the meal that you guys probably saw, which is cream of rice, protein, banana, all that stuff. We can throw that together. Yeah. And um, then you put a, you didn't eat it. No, you were eating it and you stopped eating it. The shrimp pineapple. Yeah. 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 So, um, we're out of Mac nut oil. So it's kind of like a little weird. You guys are probably gonna be like, what the fuck? But, um, butter. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna put some butter on there. Butter's good. I'm all out of avocado right now. To grapes a bit. So, freezing the grapes right now because it's like a treat. 100 grams of grapes, it's like 50 carbs, about 15 carbs, 13 carbs, something like that. We'll see how much. So, Cam thought that this was fried chicken. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I just put it in the air fryer and let it get really crispy. Bro, that looks like fried chicken. It looks like fried chicken. Or just really burnt chicken. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely well done for sure. I don't know. I you started doing it in prep. Yeah, started doing it in prep just because I want to like the crunchiness. Like you, that's the one thing you miss. But yeah, so we'll warm that up for about thirty seconds, and then while we're doing this, we can cover my fifty million supplements that I'm taking to clear up this gut. Okay. Crunch up. Dude, like Jesus. Yeah. show this one what is it so this is my facet subs i actually redid this cabinet it's pretty i think i did pretty good so you got all the revived stuff up top code ballard code ballard and we're actually making a big push right now so anyone who spends 150 dollars in revive or raw uses my code tags me shares a story i'm gonna either send you 50 supplements, $50 gift card in raw or $50 in gift card through Revive. $50 gift card. I don't know why it came out so weird, but yeah. So I will preface this with saying anything that I'm showing that is not Revive is because we do not make it. So 
Um, this is all my fasted supplements. I'm not even gonna count it, but you got 12 pills of kidney in the morning, three from heart. This I take five times a day. Uh, let's go over the rest. Glucose, two pills with meals, seven from lipid in the morning, one B complex, one digest aid with meals. That's going to be two. So that's your men's health supplement right there. Three prostate because, you know, guys. Um, and I think liver. Yeah. So four from liver. So do the math there. Now, what I'm currently taking because I fucked up my neck is whatever this is. What is it? Cam. This is like for inflammation. And then this one is my muscle relaxers. <laughs> Cause dude, I and Derek pushed me in a set on the hack squat and I came down and I was like, oh yeah, I'm done. I came back up and he was like, three more. And I was like, all right, well I'm not bitching out. So I did it and instantly when I came down just from bracing, I could feel it shoot right down my neck. So the next day I woke up and I was like driving to the ER like this, like trying to turn and look. And yeah, I got there. We're good now. Then I got Telmasartan doing 80 milligrams for blood pressure, even though my blood pressure is good since I dropped about uh, eight pounds of inflammation. But this is actually gonna help with, what is it? What do they say about the cows? It's like myostatin, where they like they don't have myostatin. So that's like that one cow that looks like it's on steroids. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, so this is a myostatin blocker, I believe, something like that, and it's gonna, it will actually help with building muscle and my blood pressure. So it's like the perfect drug for all of you, but it is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got some other ones in here. This is the second antibiotic I'm currently running. Two of these a day. So that's what's also in here. And then, cause very much like sebum, I'm balding. So we got another one in here. Does it Tell, tell them. Tell no, we got a, uh, what is this? Finasteride. Finasteride. Yeah. So I take five milligrams of that every day as well. And then you got your vitamin D. Now, let's go to what I'm taking.